Today I want to show you a fantastic appetizer or standalone light dinner. This is Kalbi ribs. It's a South Korean delicious staple and I'm going to show you how I like to do it. The most important part about kalbi is the marinade. Now basically kalbi is thinly cut short ribs, cross cut so you can see each of the individual little bones, but we do need to show a bit of love with our marinade. It's very, very simple. We're gonna throw all of this stuff into a food processor. I'm gonna start with some yellow onion. I like the sweet onion uh, just because it, it gives us a natural sweetness. We have some sugar later too, but the natural sweetness of onion is fantastic. Now we're gonna take some pear. Pear has a really interesting flavor that's not typical uh, for a lot of Americans American cooking, but it's going to go amazing here. We're also going to add just a bit of Fuji apple. This is going to compound with the pear and give us a really, really lovely flavor. I'm going to throw some brown sugar in there just to keep on that whole train of sweetness. And now we're going to get to our ginger. Very simple, fresh ginger. We're going to peel it and cut it up pretty tiny. You don't have to worry about mincing it too small because it's going to go in the food processor. We're also going to throw in five, six, maybe seven whole garlic cloves, as many as you like. We definitely want a punch of garlic. Now on to the liquid. Now I'm gonna be pretty generous with my soy. That's where we're gonna get a lot of our savory, our umami flavors. The sweetness and the umami together, it's, it's hard to explain unless you actually experience it. But that salty umami flavor, it's kind of like what you get in mushrooms, what you get in beef. So it's a little bit more than just salty, it's salty and umami. Doing a decent amount here. We're looking at maybe almost a cup, almost a cup of soy sauce. This is where we're gonna get a lot of our, our flavor. And when you make this at home, it's one of those things too where you get to play with your flavors. You know what? We're going all of it. We're going all of it. When you get to play with your flavors, I mean, how many times do you get to put soy and pear together? It's really, really fun. Now, just a touch of sesame oil. Sesame oil is potent. So maybe a table, a teaspoon, teaspoon, not table, teaspoon. We're also gonna add some mirin. Mirin is a sweet cooking wine. Uh, not overly sweet, don't think sweet like sugar, but it does have an interesting uh, sweetness to it. I'm gonna hit that with just a bit of salt and some pepper. You know, I wasn't gonna, but now I feel like I wanna. So green onions have two parts. You know, we have our, our white part down toward the end and then our green part. I was gonna use these for garnish, but I usually discard this little bit, this white bit down here, but I'm gonna take just the whites. Let's throw those in there. Add a little bit more onion flavor. Green onion is a bit more of a brighter onion flavor than yellow onion. Not quite as sweet. Uh, that's really good. I'm mean, last little bit here. I'm gonna add some water. The water's just gonna help us get to the consistency we need for a marinade. So let's put that topper on and blend this until it's nice and smooth. What we're looking for is a nice smooth consistency so all of those ingredients come together and when it's done, essentially what we're looking for is this. Now it's all right, don't worry, it's not exactly attractive, but that's okay because this is a marinade. This is loaded, loaded with flavor. Let's give it a little one-two real quick. There are moments when you taste something that you just made. Lights going off in my head. You ever seen Ratatouille? It's what's happening right now in my head. So, so good, so good. All right, push this off to the side just for a second. Now let's talk about our short ribs. So check this out. Kalbi is a fairly inexpensive cut. Uh, if you have a really great uh, butcher, go see them. If not, you guys can go to E3 Meats. Check them out online. They deliver the really, really fantastic, high, high quality. So let's get in here and we'll take a look. I'm gonna show you, this is actually a cross cut of the short rib. So what you see, is so you actually get to see the individual little bones. Can you see, can you hear that? So the short rib normally would be cut this way. So that one long bone would be going down the middle. These are little individual bones. Fairly inexpensive cut and really, really versatile. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw that into a Ziploc bag, all of the ribs right in that Ziploc bag. And then we're gonna cover it with our marinade. Now is the part where we have to be patient. We did a lot of fun work here. We have a fantastic marinade. We have gorgeous E3 short rib cut into Kalbi. Now it's time to let this sit and relax in the refrigerator for 10 to 12 hours. We're gonna let all those flavors penetrate and be absolutely amazing. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna clean up and we'll cook these. Oh, okay. 
the wait is over. It is time to get cooking. Now I've got my griddle, uh, I was preheating at low, but I cranked it up to high heat. We definitely want this thing hot. We want it smoking. Let's see where we are. Yeah, let's let that heat up just a little bit more. No, we're looking good. We're looking good. So you wanna cook these pretty fast and furious. I mean, you saw how thin they were. They're very, very thin. So let's open this up. Oh, just once. The ginger, the garlic, the pear, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, now let's come over here to our griddle. Now we're not gonna shake off too much of this marinade. We kinda want it to like caramelize around the outside. We'll really start to see that brown sugar start to caramelize up. Oh my goodness. Boom, there we go. All right, let's throw some of these down. Some gloriousness. You definitely want this to be hot. If it's not making that sound, if it doesn't look like that, the grill's not hot enough. Wait a minute, get it hot, and then continue on with the rest of your kalbi. Let's do uh, four of these for now. We'll cook the rest of these up later. Now let's go ahead and do them all. We'll do them all. While that's cooking, let's get to our garnish. Now remember we had those green onions from before. We're just gonna do a nice thin little slice of these. This is nice, it's gonna give us some color. It's also gonna give us a little bit of texture and crunch uh, and that beautiful, beautiful bright flavor. All right, that looks pretty good. Maybe a touch more, just a touch. I like that. Now let's also do, let's play with our pear. I've got one more pear. Let's, uh, let's think about plate architecture. What are plates gonna look like when it's finished? So let's take half. I'm gonna cut it in half and then in half again just to get rid of those seeds, just like that. Beauty, do this one too, I like it. Now we're gonna go real, real thin, real thin little slices. Let's just give us a nice little plate presentation. We can fan them out. You know, you take so much time making the food taste delicious. If you don't take that extra little bit of time to make it look delicious, you're selling yourself a little short. We don't wanna sell ourselves short. I want everything to be lovely and beautiful. If you watch the show long enough, you know how I feel about that. That looks good. Let's do the other one too. Thin, beautiful little slices. Try to keep it together. That way we don't have to start playing Legos at the end. It'll all just slide and fan out nice and even. There we go. I like that. All right, let's save this off to the side and take a peek at these beautiful ribs. They smell amazing. They smell unbelievable. Let's give just a quick little peek. Oh my goodness. You see that beautiful caramelization? You see the sugar starting to get all stunning? This, my friends, is magical. All right, let's let this cook for about, let's say two or three more minutes just to get some lovely color, bring out some of those flavors, bring out that caramelization, and it's time to plate. Oh, that is what I'm talking about, my friends. Beautiful Maillard. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and get our plate ready. So I've got a nice little plate. You definitely want a longer plate so it can fit uh, the shape and the length of our ribs. But we made those beautiful little fans. So check this out. We're gonna take our pear. Let's just fan it out nice and even. Give ourselves a little color, a little plate contrast. Just like that, tuck it in. Let's do the other side also. This is one of those things you definitely don't have to do it, but if you've got the extra pear, and the time, make our plates look beautiful. I like that. Nice. All right, let's grab our tongs and we're gonna start pulling these over. We'll pull two at a time. We'll kind of stack them up. So whether it's like a game day or even a holiday table, bring this out. People will think you're some sort of mad genius. You just happen to take your time, make things look beautiful and lovely. There we go, last one right over the top. All right, now we have our green onions. Let's go with our green onions, just like that. And then some of our sesame seeds. I'm using the tricolor just because I think they look pretty. Now my friends, stunning, glorious if you want. If you have any of the extra marinade, you could use it as a dip on the side, the stuff we did not marinate in, obviously. I've got a little bit of extra here. Now let's actually, let's put that in a little bowl and it's time for service, my friends. These things are crazy simple, super good. All you need is a little bit of technique and you're off to the races.
There you go. And look, you can actually see the little bones. You can see where the short rib was, uh, but we have changed these into something magical. And if you want, just move your plate over to the side and you can cut it for your guests if you want. So you have one individual little bone. So there's the bone, there's the rest. Give it a little dip. Here we go, my friends. Whoa. The ginger and the garlic, the pear and the apple, the sweet, the savory. It has everything that your palate wants and they get really, really tender. Check that out. A little dip in our sauce. Tender, so much fun. Sort of a whole platter of these. I mean, you saw how many we did. You can double that and cook double the amount in the same amount of time and serve a big party. Or you can have a nice small little intimate dinner if you'd like. Either way, these are fantastic. I hope you guys try them. I just, I'm gonna quit talking because I'm gonna keep eating. See you guys in the next video.